Hey, I hope you had a great weekend. It's Monday morning, ready to get back into it. Hope you're feeling recharged, ready to trade the market. And in this video, we're gonna go over the recap where we see the market going and just an update on the swing trades. If you're working on becoming a consistently profitable trader, you're going to want to subscribe. My goal here is to help new traders build consistency so they can become consistently profitable over time. So let's dive into it. We're looking at ES, which is the S&P 500 futures. And uh, we've been looking at the Fib retracement. Previous videos, I said that I believe that we'll get a retracement off the sell-off. That happened Tuesday, December 13th. Sold off, made a low December 22nd. Second, we drew the fib retracement and we believe that it would come up to about the 4070 level and I said I believe I'm gonna to start to add shorts to my swing account in small size over 4000 we got there this past week and we actually overshot the 786 fib and this would make a lot of people think that this is invalid and that we're just gonna go and make new highs I said in the previous video I personally am gonna remain bearish keep my bearish bias as long as we don't close over 4100 and Friday we actually pushed up just over 4100 where I made some ads and then we sold off this morning we're having a gap down we're down about 40 points on ES from about 40 4084 to 4045 it's 7 30 a.m. pre-market what we think is we're going to sell off and eventually take out these lows we could push higher again but I believe personally that this 4180 on futures is gonna hold as a high and the next target will be at uh, 3790 before 4200. That's kind of what I'm looking at. So if we take a look at the weekly chart, we just started the week. So before this week started, it looks extremely bullish and it looks like we're gonna push up, but we're still respecting the overall downtrend. So when you, again, when you zoom out, every time you zoom out to the weekly, we still made a high, took out a new low, made a high, took out a new low, came up, new low, pushed up, new low once more in October and then we've rallied and we made a higher low so this is where a lot of people think that this is a higher low and we're going to continue to push up it's possible it can go both ways but based on market structure based on what I see I believe we'll actually sweep the liquidity down here just below 3800 before we keep pushing up so even if even if this was the low in my opinion if this 3500 area was the low I still think we're going to sweep the liquidity at 3800 before we continue to push up and sweep the 4200 highs. We have a lot of news this week, so there are a lot of bombs to avoid. So we just have to take a look at Monday. Today, there's no news, right? Tuesday, not really much news, honestly. There's just um, the uh, consumer confidence at 10 a.m. But Wednesday is FOMC, as well as non-farm, and ISM and Jolt. So there's a ton of news Wednesday. That's gonna be extremely volatile. Thursday, again, there's more news. And then Friday is uh, non-farm. We've also got tons of news this week. It can go whipsawed up and down all around. But in my opinion, like I said, I think that that high will hold and we are trading based on that. So I made some ads at 4060 and I made some ads at 4100 on futures for the short bias. And I'm personally looking at the 3800 level may take some profits when we sweep the lows here at uh, 3970. So if you take a look at the daily chart, this wick low here at about 3968, I think uh, we'll sweep these lows down to the 3950s area, and then we could retrace back up, Think make people think we're gonna go higher and then continue lower. So I'll take some, some of my ads off, uh, some partials off at about 3950. 3960 then I'll let the rest ride and uh, move stops uh, just above break even which would be about 40 40 to 40 60 give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it let me know what you trade in the comments below are you more of a futures trader options trader or a forex trader subscribe for more videos just like this again thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video at the end of the week